Hey everybody, it's Bob Ketchum from One Industries. I'm here to tell you about our DEF CON line of gear. Our DEF CON gear is our high-end or race level gear that we manufacture. Uh, and today I'm going to show you our race red color. The DEF CON gear is cut in a very athletic pattern, very high back to the pant. So that helps keep the pant in place when you're standing up, sitting down, moving back and forth on the motorcycle. Um, another cool feature of the top of our pant is what we call our dual action saddle. What that does is it actually works as a shock absorber for the waistband. So as you're standing up, sitting down, moving back and forth on your grip or seat cover, and the butt of your pant is getting moved around, yanked around, what this does is it lets the butt of the pant move without the waistband. Keeps your pants in place, makes them fit right, makes them work right. Um, the front of the pant has a perf panel to let in a little bit of ventilation. It's not a full vented pant, but it does allow some air in there to keep the pant more comfortable. Got a ratchet closure buckle and a burly zipper on there, so you're not going to have any failures with that part of the pant. Got a uh, silicone impregnated waistband to help keep your jersey tucked in and a three quarter length sewn in mesh liner. Helps keep the, can the pant really comfortable on the inside. Another couple cool features of this is there's very minimal TPR on the leg. TPR is thermoplastic rubber. It's what people put on the pants to help protect you against impact. Um, our pieces are a little bit smaller and not connected. It helps make the pant much lighter than somebody that's got a ton of uh, TPR on the side. We've got a very articulated large knee pocket, which is great for wearing either oversized knee pads or knee braces. Also keeps all the, rest or the uh, stress off the seams in the knee. Makes the pant very durable. Big stretch panel above the knee also helps to keep that stress down. One of my favorite, two of my favorite parts about the pant is the huge uh, debossed full grain leather inner knees. Um, debossing may, gives them a little bit more traction than a straight leather piece. Um, and my other favorite part is that the full lower leg of this pant is very minimal. It's, a, it's got a mesh panel and very little stretch material. It helps keep the bottom of the pant very cool. Once you guys go riding, you put on your socks, you put on your knee cups, you put on your pants, then you put on your boots. You've got four layers of fabric and protection from your knee down. By keeping the bottom of the pant very minimal like that, helps to dissipate heat, make the pant more comfortable. I think when I go riding, I sweat more from the knee down than I do anywhere else on my body, but that's just me. That's our DEF CON pant. Along with the DEF CON pant, we have a DEF CON jersey. A couple cool things about the DEF CON jersey. It's a full 100% polyester, which is sublimated, meaning you can put it in the washer a million times, never going to fade. Colors directly into the fabric. Um, the collar on the jersey has a little bit of padding, so if you're a guy that runs a neck brace, EVS race collar, Alpine Stars Bionic, or a Liat brace, Gives a little bit of padding on your collarbone, so it's a little bit more comfortable. Um, also have a cool articulated elbow with a sewn-in elbow pad in the jersey. Add a little bit of protection for the elbow, but also keeps the jersey in the riding position when you got your arms bent, which is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to have your arms bent. Extra long tail keeps the jersey tucked in. Big ventilation panels underneath the arms helps keep the jersey cool. So that's the DEF CON jersey, which is pretty rad. I'm also going to show you two different gloves. I'm going to show you the Zero Glove, which is our lightweight, very minimalistic glove. Uh, full stretch panel on the back of the glove with a sewn-on TPR logo. Very thin, unpadded, unreinforced palm with tacky grips on the fingers. So if you're looking for a glove that doesn't feel like you have much there, that's the Zero Glove. Thumb protection for you guys that get Yama thumb. Definitely got a thumb reinforcement there. So great fitting glove in the Zero. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the Armada glove. And the Armada glove is for the guy that's looking for a little bit more protection. Velcro closure at the wrist. Still have your thumb protection up on top for blisters on the thumb. It's got a slightly reinforced palm but still not as thick of a palm, so there's not much bunching helps cut down on blisters and heat dissipation in the hand, so it's a very, very comfortable glove. You've got sewn on TPRs for a little bit of knuckle protection up top, as well as a gusseted knuckle, so it's very, very 
low resistance when you're bending your hand and your fingers. So very comfortable glove to wear. Huge uh, stretch panel across the knuckles, also cuts down on that resistance. And then a sewn on TPR on the back of the hand for a little bit more impact resistance on the back of the hand. So Armada glove, zero glove, one industries. That's what you want. Thanks.